Welcome back to Mortal TV, your go-to channel for all things Escape from Dargov. In today's episode, we're going to be continuing our comprehensive guide series, but we're going to dive into the Dorm Room 108 key. In this series, I go map by map, key by key, everything that goes on, then I'm going to expand to more stuff. But anyways, the Dorm Room 108 key opens up more possibilities to loot. Behind there, you'll find chores and a PC block, but anyways, just like any other key, it weighs 0.01 kilograms, occupying a 1x1 one one grid. This key is compact, but can it be a game changer? Let's find out. Over the past seven days, it's been marketed around 7,761 rubles, so it's a pretty cheap key. You'll make your money off of it right away. Now let's find out where we can use this key. We're going to load into customs. Finding the dorm room 108 key is just the usual three locations you're going to have to find around a boot. One of them being the jackets. They spawn on pretty much every map. You just go ahead and open them up. There's a chance the key could spawn, but it's not going to be the one I want. It's just luck, so good luck with that. Now the second place you're going to find keys on average is going to be inside the drawers of filing cabinets. They're on every map nearly as well. It's scattered all around. Not as much as jackets, but you go ahead and search every single one of the drawers and there's a chance a key could spawn. I'm not getting it here, but it's RNG. Just loot as much as you can for filing cabinets. Eventually you'll find some good keys. It's worth looting just because of the keys, honestly, because you can get some really rare keys that sell for a lot out of nowhere. And it makes up for all the bad runs you'll find just basic, I don't know, duct tape, matches, batteries, you know what I mean? Now the last of the three usual is going to be inside scavs in their pockets, or if they have a backpack, you go ahead and search that. And it's also completely random. So you just kill one, go run them up to them. Now this key doesn't have a static spawn, so this is just one of your keys you can't really grind for. If you're on your loot runs, just make sure to check jackets and filing cabinets. And whenever you kill scab, check his pockets. They're not always full in the pockets, so it could really just be one or two items. That's pretty quick to search. Now if you're looking to see where this key can be used, where that lock location's at, if you're over in customs, head over to three-story dorms. It's going to be on the first floor. Once you're in the middle here, there's stairs. Or you can come in from that door. You don't go up, just keep going down all the way. And it's going to be on your left after you pass this kitchen right here 108 it's also got this little like cat in a jar <laughs> but go ahead and unlock the door now behind dorm room 108 you'll find a set of drawers and a pc block while not the most lucrative loot it can add some value to your loot runs especially since customs the dorm specifically doesn't have that many keys you can fit them all in a docs case you could consider taking this if you if you killed everybody just i don't know you could loot this one up i wouldn't say it's an important one you have to loot but it's a cheap key so it'll pay off it's not like you're going to be wasting your money looting this currently there is no specific quest that involves the dorm room 108 key making this key primarily just a looting opportunity and as of now there's no specific trade involving the dorm room 108 key it's purely access to potential loot within dorms thanks for tuning into this guide on the dorm room 108 key if you found this video helpful hit that like button and share your experiences down below with this key if you found any good loot something i didn't cover comment it down below and don't forget to subscribe for more Escape from Tarkov guides and tips. Well, stay sharp out there in Tarkov, and see you in the next guide. Bye-bye.